Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestle Simulator, where today we're going to be using eight secret tips and tricks to turn me into an absolute god. I might be thinking, just looking at my stats, my arms, all my pets, that I would already be considered a god in Arm Wrestle Simulator, but there's honestly a lot of things I haven't been doing to make myself fully OP, and so not only am I going to be doing all eight of these tips and tricks in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can do it for yourselves, so no matter your skill within the game, you'll be able to double, triple, or even quadruple quadruple your strength within just a few hours so let's get started now the first tip and trick is to get a full lucky team and what i mean by that is there are teams in the game that allow you to mix and match various pets so that really quickly you're able to swap between a bunch of different set of pets like for example this team that i currently have equipped each and every single pet has the lucky five enchant and if you're wondering what that is it gives you 25 percent more luck when you open eggs and that's really important because no matter which world you're in opening the most op eggs is by far the easiest way to gain strength quicker. And if you don't want to buy any of these luck passes, then getting a full set of lucky pets is by far the best way to go. And if you take a look at my team, we only have 28 out of the 41 possible pet equips for the lucky five enchant. And so we're going to head over to the enchantment table here in world two. And we are going to be sitting our butts down at this table trying to find, I think it's what, 13 lucky five enchants because the additional luck boosts will be coming in handy. Oh, there we go. Our our first lucky five pet. Just need to get a few more rebirths going on. And now we have enough rebirth tokens to turn this crystal elephant into a lucky five crystal elephant. Oh, before we get too deep in the video, I want to put these stats up on screen right now. These are the stats of my current account and my current team so that we can compare at the end of the video just how far I'm able to progress with a few simple tips and tricks. It could be because of the new key finder enchant in the game. I am finding the lucky five enchant a little bit less often, but regardless, this crystal cat marks our 38 a lucky five pet, meaning there's only three more to go. And if you guys are watching thinking, I only have a few pet equips myself, not 30, not 40. Does this still make a difference? Yes, trust me. Some pets and eggs out there are super hard to get. And so even if you're able to get something like a 100 or 150% luck boost, and this still makes you twice as likely to get the pet, which will save you tons of time in the long run. So no matter how many pet equips you have, it is definitely worth grinding wins and rebirth. So you can head over to this enchantment table and grind the really rare enchants like I'm doing. And after around 30 minutes of grinding, this should be our last lucky five pets. A nice little crystal dog, which means we can delete this old team, which means our luck team has gone from an already impressive 700% to over 1000% with this new team, which is perfect because with this team, we're about to do the second tip on the list, which is to get a full team of best friend fives because the best friend five enchant, if you don't know, makes whatever pet with the enchant 75% as powerful as your best pet. It's a since my best pet is a ghost goliath beacon with a 25 million multiplier all of these pets now become an 18.75 million multiplier even though they have a base stat boost of only 10,000. and as you can see i already have a full squad of best friend five pets and that's through these event eggs and the old event eggs so instead we're gonna try to get a ton of best friend six pets which you could do through the season three pass and since i'm gonna be spending uh, around 20,000 robux to do this it's gonna be its own separate video which should have already released on the channel by now so if you want to go see me opening 20 of these season three passes then make sure you go watch that i'll leave that link down below in the description but i'll be right back when we're all done all right uh let's just say things went way better than expected not only did i manage to get a full team of best friend sixes i had a full team of best friend fives i want you to you guys to keep that in mind we upgraded to a full team of best friend sixes and my third tip i think i did this one pretty well tried to just focus on getting one really good pet in the game um i kind of got the best pet in the game and i already uploaded a video a few days ago on the channel of how i managed to do this it might have cost me a few robux but still a lot of hard work went into getting this team so if you guys missed that video feel free to go check them out as i think they're super sick and probably some of the best on the channel but yeah tip number three and one i think not that many people are gonna put a lot of effort into right now is actually leveling up your pets because right now pet levels they they don't do anything and that's because all the developers did was introduce the ability for you to get snacks which you can feed to your pets to level them up but the pets don't actually have any sort of boost right now and so what i recommend you guys doing oh first off let me make sure i lock that geez is finding the best pet you have in your inventory at the time equipping it and then whatever snacks you have go ahead and just chuck them all on we have 25 green apples which should be 250 pet xp going to the way of my cosmic dragon so i think this should be level three hey very nice i don't know what the rewards are going to be what the boosts are going to be but i'm assuming they're going to be really really helpful come time when the pet xp gets another update but also i do think moving forward just focusing on getting one really really good pet for your team and then having the rest of your pets equipped be 
being best friend pets is probably going to be the way to go because if I tried to get 41 Goliath Ghost Cosmic Dragons, it would cost me like a bajillion dollars. There are two more teams, however, that we have to complete. We have our full lucky team, which is 100% maxed out. We have our winner winner straight team that is a 2.2 billion strength multiplier like this thing has 2.2 billion. We had 700 billion start off the video. We tripled it. Okay, so we're, we're doing a good job, but we can do an even better job by taking this winner winner squad and getting it full of 41 winner winner pets instead of 34. And while I was enchanting for lucky five pets, every time I saw a winner winner five pet, I would go ahead and scoop it up. So I think there's actually a chance that we already have all the winner winner five pets that we need. Just got to go through and find them. And man, it, it still feels this is such a slow process. They got to they gotta make a way for you to sort through your pets and your teams because dude, I, I haven't even seen one yet. Okay, there's our first winner winner five. Nice. All right, and this pair should end off the full winner winner five team. I might have actually put in a non winner pet in here. Make sure I didn't do that. Nope, everything seems good to go. Get 65.6x the amount of wins you would normally get for beating a boss. Okay, so I thought they used to actually give the amount of wins you would get over their heads. But let's just see. This coconut boss. Do we even have any strength? Okay, we have a ton of strength. Never mind. 635 million. I think you get like 5 million normally or something insane like that. So we went from getting like 58 times to 65 times wins. So another huge tip, especially if you're going to be grinding a bunch of super rebirths like I'm going to be doing in a second, is to take the time out of your day and just get a winner winner team. Because trust me, in the long run, it's going to save you hours, if not days of playtime because of how insanely OP winner winner squads are. But something I'm not excited to do is head right back to the enchantment table because we need to get ourselves a full key finder set of pets. Uh, now I think if I just open these eggs, wait, oh wait, no, let me put on my luck team. I was like, wait, what's happening? Okay, luck team, open these. I honestly think it'd be really funny to make like a 41 pet team of just cats. Uh, let me do one more. I think this should be 42 cats. It's not when we head to the enchantment table. Yeah, it's just a bunch of baby spooky cats. This is awesome. So what we're looking for is the brand new key finder enchant, uh, which as you can see right here, it gives you a 1% better chance of finding keys. And you might be thinking to yourself, why in the world would you need to find keys? Because you already have such a great arm, the 1.1k buff tiger arm. And yes, it is a really good arm, but it is not the best arm. I'm still on the hunt for the infamous buff crystal arm, because if you're able to get this golden, it gives you a 1350% boost. And in order to get that, we need to open thousands and thousands of these diamond crates. And at the moment, we only have like a hundred or so. And so actually, let me go ahead and open a few more of these. If we manage to get the crystal arm, then you know what? We're not going to have to worry about getting this key finder enchant, but I have a feeling probably not going to get it. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of tigers, which is good. And I will probably give these away in my Discord server. So make sure you guys are a part of that if you guys want a chance to win some of these. Again, yeah, just a ton of crates. There's a ton of arms that aren't the buff crystal. It's not what we're looking for. Buff tiger again. Very cool. Very nice, but not the arm we're looking for. So we're going to have to spend quite a lot of rebirth again, trying to get a full set of key finder to enchant. Now, I think the good thing is these are pretty easy to, yeah, they, they pop up pretty often, so it's not going to take a long time. I'm just going to have to sit here and rebirth a ton of times. And so let's get to grinding. Whoa! Key finder three? Okay, this is really rare. It's 72 <laughs> rebirths. Oh my gosh. For, for reference, I have gone ahead and got 18 key finder twos. It's taken me 18 just to find one key finder three. That is actually insane. So this is possible to get a full key finder three team, but it, it would literally take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And I don't think it's that. Like if it was like 20% more likely to, to get keys, sure. That's pretty cool, but it only goes from two to four percent. So that's why I'm just sticking with key finder twos because I really don't want to sit here for the next eternity of my life to get key finder three in chance. But if I see him, I'm gonna grab him first time. 72. It's basically I feel like that's as rare as like a best friend five in chance. But you can see they're handing out key finder two in chance like they're candy, man. And with that, we're now up to 22, a little over halfway there in just about 10 minutes or so. Not too bad. 
I must have done my math wrong somewhere because we use up all of the spooky cats we had and we are one pet equipped short. So we're gonna go back to spawn. We're gonna get one last spooky cat. Let's make sure we got this son. And we're only gonna open up one egg. All right, there we go. Very nice. And here we go. Key finder to the last one we need, which means we can go find all of these spooky cats. Spam them all into the team. And this should be giving us an 84% increase in finding those diamond keys. And in order to test that, there's a 0.5% chance to find a diamond key. But now I think we should have almost a 1% chance for every time we defeat a boss. So I'm going to go ahead and defeat the cybernetic boss an additional 100 times to see if this is actually true or not. And I just realized I have no strength. But luckily, if we chuck this on, chuck our strength team on, we should put a good strength pretty darn fast. So I'll be back when we have all of our strength. All right, this should be around the 100th win. Okay, might have been a few more, a few less. Let's see, though. We, okay, we got no keys. Where's, what? I spent so much time, so much effort trying to get a full key finder. I will say, I feel like key finder enchant 2% is a little low. Considering I just beat 100 bosses and didn't get a single diamond key. But you know, we'll open them all and we don't get anything. So we'll move on from the fifth tip to the sixth and one of the most important ones. And that is to make sure you're super rebirthing. Now, when you super rebirth, as you can see, it says super rebirths reset everything except your pets. You lose all your stats and worlds. You'll gain one super rebirth token. Now, at the beginning, super rebirthing gives you a base multiplier stat of 100. So it's really, really powerful. However, in the later games, like myself, going from 40 to 41, I only get a 40% boost. So the max boost I'll be able to get from uh, rebirthing at the end of the day is like 4,400. So it basically gives me like a 10% boost, which isn't anything insane. But still, it's going to be helpful for my leaderboard grind because the leaderboards are getting absolutely insane with the person all the way down in 100, still having 20.1 SX strength. So for you players who are early or mid game, super rebirthing is super helpful. But for someone like me, it's not as crucial. But still, we're going to go ahead. We're going to grind and put on our winner winner squad because this is what should really help me breeze through. As you can see, we just need one win from this guy. We need probably one win from the rogue AI. Yep. And then we can cruise all the way to here. We do a little bit of punching. If I'm not mistaken, we need, yeah, right around like four QA. We can then destroy the Kraken boss. Okay. We only have to defeat him five times. And this is crazy because without my winner winner team, this would take me like not even kidding, like 50 wins in order to beat this guy to move on to the bunker world. But even with my insane teams, it's still going to take quite a long time for me to actually get an additional 10 super rebirths because we're going to be timing this first one. Oh wait, we don't even have a trail equipped. Uh, can we get RGB plus 200 strength? Yeah, you betcha. Okay. Well, let's make sure we chuck on our strength team. Yo, that's crazy. We're flying through it. Okay. Yeah, we can destroy the mutant king. We need, oh, we need to beat him only four times to move on to world five, is it? And once we get to world five, I'm going to see if we have enough wins to super rebirth. We might, maybe not though. Let's see. Okay. So let's get to the bunker. Let's get to the dino world and then let's spam our super rebirth. We're going to need quite a lot of wins, I'm guessing, for this first super rebirth. Actually, not that much. We can probably just do this in like half an hour. I thought this was going to take way longer, but I think it's just because I decided to do my winner winner team first. Uh, we're just absolutely OP. And so again, if you guys do plan on super rebirthing like myself, I highly recommend you just take the time out of your day to get your strength team and your winner winner team set up. As again, this is saving me literally hours and hours in my day because I decided to enchant a few pets. Okay, I think we're actually super rebirthing faster right now than when I originally started grinding the game around two months ago. When I first was super rebirthing back then, it was taking me like three minutes per super rebirth. Now I can do it in like two minutes and we're at the very late stage of the game, which is just crazy. This doesn't feel like it should be allowed. I mean, I think it might have something to do with my 2.2 billion stat team. J just maybe. So there's a possibility. Already like 10 minutes. We're already halfway there. Just five more to go. We should hopefully have enough wins to secure our 50th and final super rebirth. Uh, yeah, this was just way too easy, but we're not going to stop there. We need to make sure we actually go ahead and get a full on max rebirth on our account. So I think that'd be 4,400%. So it's only around a 10% increase for me, but for you guys, you could be increasing your stuff by like a thousand percent, which would be huge. So again, make sure to check the super rebirth and your rebirth menu when you hop on that game next, as this is by far the easiest way to increase your strength without too much effort. Very beautiful one SP1 just means we can go 
back to the void world and while we're here we might as well go ahead and max out the super rebirth or the rebirth to 44 15 percent again like an extra 10 percent boost for me in strength gain but i've saved arguably the most secrets of all of the tricks for last but before we get to that there is one more tip that i want to give you guys and that has to deal with the brand new lucky block system that is in the game now there's two important things to know about lucky blocks the first one is uh, this guy right here he can't actually see this lucky block it's only available to you so there's no way someone can steal it but the second is that it can actually give you really insane strength boosts from just afking this game so even though this lucky block is in the first gym if i go all the way to world six and then start auto training my hands with my strength team you can just see that we opened the lucky block and we got a snack pack now the snack pack is good and again we're gonna go ahead and unequip all and make sure we just have our cosmic dragon equipped and spam on these green apples but i've heard it's pretty common for you to to be able to get plus eight percent stat boost which basically means if you have 100 strength you would then have 108 strength and so on and so forth so basically if you're just on the game every 10 minutes you'll have a chance to get a lucky block spawn and have a huge strength boost be coming your way so if you play this game for around 24 hours you'd probably get 50 percent strength boost just from lucky blocks but if you don't want to wait a day to get strength boost then this last and most op tip and trick is for you and that is utilizing the code right here in the game now believe it or not i I've been playing this game for around two months and never once have I entered any sort of strength code or an OP code that they put out that gives you an increase in strength. And so right now for the first time ever, I'm going to be entering all the strength codes currently available in the game and also putting them on screen and in the description so that you guys can double your strength if you haven't put these codes in before. And the cool thing is if you guys have already put in, oh wait, since I've already redeemed that, what? Maybe that's the one I redeemed. If you've already redeemed some of these codes, as you can see, plus 50% on all of your strengths, then as long as you're in the discord then there's a pretty good chance that every week or so they will release a new code so there you go plus five percent on all of your strengths now it only affects this strength total right here and not the amount of strength you actually receive so i've put in about 20 percent worth of strength codes and unfortunately it hasn't affected the actual amount of raw strength i'm getting now it's not too big of a deal and it only really affects if you're grinding leaderboards but it will give you an increase on this number right here and then there is another code plus five percent oh wait this probably gives you three rebirths wait already redeemed i have never redeemed that one and from the looks of it there's around seven strength codes that currently work and again every week or so they'll release new ones in the discord for you to put in and increase your strength even further without having to do a single thing lastly they do update trails pretty often as well so make sure you do have the max for the amount of wins that you have and using all eight of these tips and tricks you should be able to grind through our muscle simulator like there's no tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did end up learning something a like would be greatly appreciated as well as if you guys could drop a sub because i have a ton of crazy Armistice Simulator videos dropping really soon on the channel. So until then, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.